We are going to see how to multiply this out. We have 5x squared minus 2x plus 3 times 5x squared plus 2x plus 3. As we can see, we have 3 times right here and 3 times right here. So we should do the box method to multiply this out. This way, everything will be more organized. So let's do that. I'm just going to draw a big box first. And then I will cut into 3 pieces this way and 3 pieces this way. Just like a tic-tac-toe box. On the top, I will just put down this right here. 5x squared minus 2x plus 3. And then I'll put on the second uh, parentheses right here on the side. We have 5x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we'll just go ahead and fill in the boxes. To do this, we multiply this and that. 5 times 5 is 25. And x squared times x squared gives us x to the power of 4. So remember, when we multiply, we add the exponents up. So for this one, we do negative 2x times 5x squared. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, and x times x squared, we add the exponents up, 1 plus 2, we have x to the third power. And we continue. For this one, we do 3 times 5x squared. So we have 15x squared, and now let's move to the second row. 2x times 5x squared, that will give us 10x to the third power, and then 2x times negative 2x, that will give us negative 4x, square 2x times positive 3 that's positive 6x and then for the last row we have 3 times 5x squared that's 15x squared 3 times this is negative 6x and then 3 times 3 we have plus 9 so you see everything's in the box everything's organized and the answer to this let's put it down right here we're still going to compile terms and usually they will happen on the diagonals this way. So, you see that right here, these two are the x to the third power term, right? And then this diagonal is the x squared terms. And then for this right here is the x term. This is the only 25x to the fourth power, the x to the fourth power term. So that's just 25x to the fourth power. And we see that negative 10x to the third power plus 10x to the third power, they cancel each other out. So we have no um, x to the third power term. For the x to the second power term, we have 15, and let's just combine the numbers in the front, right? So 15 minus 4 is 11. 11 plus 15, that will give us plus 26x to the second power term. And then for the x term, 6x minus 6x, once again, that's 0, so we don't have the x term. At the end, we have the plus 9. So this is what we have. This is the result after we multiply this out. And let's also do a quick check on the vocabulary. What's the degree of this resulting polynomial? Once again, the degree is the highest power of x in the term, right? In the term. So as we can see on the first term, we have x to the fourth power. So the degree to this polynomial is 4. How about what's the coefficient? And let me ask you guys a tricky question. What's the coefficient of x to the third power well let's look at the result do we have x to the third power we don't right you see that this is x to the fourth power this is x to the second power but we don't have x to the third power well in this case the coefficient of x to the third power it will be zero because we have zero x to the third power because we didn't have x to the third power so this is it